My beloved love, this isn't actually coming from you, by the way, because I see that you've already shifted into this much higher level of consciousness. That's actually why this restrictive energy feels so uncomfortable, because at some level you can tell that this really isn't your natural state of being at this point. That this really isn't your inner gene, I'm hearing. Others are sometimes triggered by your abundance mentality or by your freedom mentality, by your insistence on staking everything on your own freedom, not sacrificing your freedom for anyone or anything, and learning how to cultivate abundance effortlessly in that state of freedom. Most of the world is not ready for that kind of massive paradigm shift. And I feel that as you've been out and about, you may have actually picked up a little bit of limiting thinking. I'm seeing clouds of what we could think of as thought forms, which essentially are collective ways of thinking that can get kind of stuck in an environment energetically. I feel that you've been in an environment recently. Yeah, here we have the Queen of Swords reversed. An environment recently that is very contradictory to your true soul nature, this place that you've ascended into. And in that very dense kind of environment, or in that environment that carried those dense cloud-like thought forms of limiting energy, it seems as though you have picked up a little bit of that into your field unconsciously. This may have caused you to feel unusually tired after being around these people or being in this environment. It may have made you have to stay in bed. You may have even felt it somehow physically in your body and wondered if something was wrong with you. But once again, I'm getting that confirmation from your guides. This is not your energy because you are coming up here as the Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles on your energy as well. I feel that, well, we'll get into that energy in a minute because I'm sensing a lot is going on over there. But for now, I want to talk about this environment you were in that seemed to sympathetically affect you in some way. So with the Queen of Swords reversed, this can be a card of gossip or lies or people who are feeling. I really wanted to use the word miserable. There's someone I feel that you've been connecting with or that you're aware of who's been in your field who is very unhappy within themselves. This might be someone that you haven't literally interacted with but someone who knows of you. And I feel that this person may have been gossiping about you, may have been spreading information about you that was not true or was based on assumptions. I am getting heavy feminine energy from this particular person. And I do feel as though this caused there to be a need for grounding within you because it seemed to really affect your field. Here, it's almost like unconsciously you absorbed a little bit of that person's limiting thinking. In fact, for someone I'm speaking to, you may have temporarily found yourself slipping back into old cycles or patterns that you've long outgrown. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.